Carolina Union is now offering free COVID testing for students. Welcome to Carolina Now. I'm Sarah Gray, reporting from Chapel Hill. And I'm Claire Gault, also coming from Chapel Hill. We also hear how early voting is going in North Carolina. UNC is now offering free COVID-19 testing for students in the Carolina Union. It is recommended that students in the Chapel Hill area be tested every five to nine days to improve contact tracing. Students who get tested should be symptom free and not have been in close contact with a positive individual. The test is saliva based and will show test results on the Healthy Heels page in two to four business days. Testing is available Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. No appointment is needed. Early voting in North Carolina is well underway with thousands casting their ballots during week one. Orange County residents have five early voting locations. Voters do not need photo ID in order to vote. You can also register to vote at an early voting site if you are not registered already. Polling locations are sanitized frequently and the lines are socially distanced for maximum safety. Voters are given pens to keep to mark their ballots to help limit shared surfaces. You can also drop off your absentee ballot at an early voting site. I was perfectly fine with putting on my mask and keeping my distance. Everything at the polling place I went to here in Charlotte was very COVID conscious. Um, they make sure everyone stays far apart on specific X's on the floor and everything was really clean so I felt safe. Early voting is open until October 31st. With North Carolina entering phase three, students are being admitted into the football games. Seniors have priority for winning tickets. However, some have yet to win the lottery and fear they may not for the whole season. I think it's a great thing that seniors get priority specifically because it is our last year um, especially with COVID going on right now. Um, this is pretty much our last chance to really get like the full UNC experience and we want to make the most of it. Me and my friends have been hoping to get a ticket. I mean, we've been trying to get into the last two games, just haven't been able to. Um, we're going to keep trying, hopefully get into the next few games and uh, we'll see how it goes from there. The Heels are leaving Keenan to take on the University of Virginia on October 31st. Even with COVID-19 affecting day-to-day -day life, we still have some fun ways students can enjoy the fall at Chapel Hill. With temperatures finally cooling, it is the perfect time to get outside. Students can take a break from online classes by taking a walk or run around campus or Franklin Street. Spring Haven Farm in Chapel Hill lets you experience the fun of farm life without any of the work. You can pick pumpkins, feed baby cows, and hold all kinds of farm animals. The farm also has two artists who will create a pumpkin specialized to you. You can also visit Maple View Farm and enjoy some homemade ice cream and fresh milk. Each location is located about 15 minutes from campus and can make for a fun car trip for people looking to get away from campus for the afternoon. Masks are required at both locations. Claire, have you tried any of these fun fall activities? I have actually, I was at Maple View yesterday. I always love to go and get ice cream there. It was really honestly a nice break to get away from campus and school. <laughs> I'll definitely have to check that out. That's what's going on at Carolina right now. Be sure to follow us on our other social media. And if you see something you'd like us to cover, tag us.